All right, I've been working on this uh, hand wheel a little bit more. See, I've been grinding, kind of cleaning the old sand casting texture off of it. And we've got a little bit more to do here. Anyway, I made a plug, fill the bore, and you can see that'll give me a little bit to machine off to get it right back to the standard size. Got another one here for this side. Here's my plug. Yeah, this a little slug of aluminum that picked up off the ground somewhere. Get it kind of a just a hand press fit. I'd like to say that was skill, but I only messed up a couple of them getting to here. <laughs> anyway, I gotta fill them holes. And uh since I turned this plug, right? That'll make the outside of this concentric with the bore, but I'm going to have to put a little body filler and stuff in here. It's uh, the original pattern shifted, or they machined the outside of this rim to some other thing. I don't know, but anyway. Uh, i got to plug that hole there yet, and I'm going to leave a little divot probably in this side here. Because it'll be a lot easier to drill it out from this side, I think. That I gotta put something in there and then I'll probably put a little center drill or something like that in it that just to leave myself a little spot to start my drill. And uh gosh, I think then we'd just be almost about done. Like I said, body filler, paint it up. Oh I think I'm gonna add some more material to the outside of this rim so that when it gets machined we can bring it back to this size. Of course, you got to always account for uh, shrinkage of materials. So if we cast this again, eh, it's going to be, it ain't going to be very much. I think it's like a maybe an eighth of an inch per foot, and this is about six inches, so we might lose a sixteenth of an inch total across here. So it probably don't matter much, but it uh, I can also make it kind of give it a little point. That way, the the molder won't have to like try to guess where the parting line should be because of course there's no evidence of it now I like in here when I was grinding on this stuff there you can see I left just the littlest bit of the parting line all the way around here so that you can give him give him a real good uh, you know reference line there paying this guy by the hour so I don't want him to have to re remold it three or four times before he finally gets it right anyway that's it for this point.